What's going on everyone, Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders Awakened Early Access. So we have some pets available in the game, and I've been getting lots of requests to go through where to find each individual pet. Now there are going to be having some balance updates for pets coming really, really soon, so I'm not going to go into specific details for each pet. However, as a general rule, you're going to want to look out for two pets generally. And that would be the Mistamine Rock Pet and the Propeller Cat. So you're going to want to keep an eye out for those two pets. The Mistamine Rock Pet, you're going to want to put on your builders. The Propeller Cat, you're going to want to put on any of your damaging heroes. Now, there is lots of effectiveness to be had with lots of the other pets and a lot of fun to be had. Like I said, as soon as we get a balance patch on those, I will be doing another video going through the functionality of every pet. Now the basics of pets are, you get one pet for completing the campaign, which means beating the summit map every time you're going to get one of these chromatic gemstones. The chromatic gemstones are a buff pet that buff your defenses depending on the color of the pet. Now in addition to this pet for beating campaign, you are going to get a pet every time you make it to wave 15 in survival mode. In addition to that, you're going to get a, another pet by completing wave 25 of every survival mode. The wave 25 completion pet is going to be the giraffe on a treadmill. This is going to drop from every survival map just for beating the map. Now, since the update came that put these into insane mode, there has been a few people telling me they haven't gotten them. However, every survival map that I personally have completed, I have gotten a giraffe on a treadmill. Now running through the other pets. First things first, the Deeper Well is going to get the Griffin. The Griffin is going to be a damaging pet that does have a nice little animation and a projectile. Moving on to Ancient Mines, we have the Mista Mine, or what is commonly referred to as the Rock Pet. This is going to be the high stat pet that you're going to want to use on your builders, but does come with a movement speed penalty. Moving on to Lava Mines, we have the Steam Robot. This is another attacking pet that will do melee damage with a knockback. The Alchemical Laboratories pet is going to be the Propeller Cat, that top-notch DPS pet that you're going to want to use on most of your damaging heroes. The yellow Ramster pet is going to come from the Throne Room. This is a buff pet for defenses that are going to give a pretty over-the-top speed boost to one defense as it pours its energy drink onto the, the tower itself. Tornado Valley is going to have the Little Wizard. This is a ranged damaging pet that has a projectile that pierces. Tornado Highlands is going to offer up the Ethereum. The Ethereum is another melee pet and it does do a substantial knockback in the area of its attack. The Genie pet that we all know and love and remember comes from the Ramparts map, Wave 15. An important note about the Genie for DD1 players, this is not giving you defensive mana to upgrade your gear. This is giving you your ability mana regen. So it's not exactly the same as the DD1 Genie. The Arcane Library is going to drop the Common Ramster Pet. This is another melee area pet with a big, big knockback. So it's going to be melee range, but it is going to provide that awesome knockback. Royal Gardens brings on the Fairy. The Fairies are going to be a healing pet, just like in Dungeon Defenders 1. If you want to tank it out, the Fairy is the way to go, as it will keep you healed up. The Promenade map has got the Helping Hand. The Hand is going to repair defenses that are in its area. So this is another familiar pet, although different from Dungeon Defenders 1 but this is your repair pet. The summit map is then, of course, you can't have the summit without a dragon. Wave 15 of the summit is going to bring a dragon pet for making it to wave 15. 
Now, once again, by completing any of these maps, all 25 waves, you will get that giraffe on a treadmill. And that is, I think, going to be more of a collectible type thing. Comes in just in a ton of different colors. And if you're the collector type, collecting all the colors of the giraffe on a treadmill could be something you want to look out for. Now, as I mentioned, there is going to be a balance patch on these pets, as there's a few different broken mechanics at the moment. So I'm not going to go into pet functionality right now. As soon as we get an update that goes through all the pets, I will be going through the functionality of each individual pet. So thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to click that like button and please subscribe to the channel. I will be live right here on YouTube shortly for a short stream, but I am going to be live all day after my lunch break and the YouTube stream I will be live over on the Twitches. So make sure you swing by and say what's up. I would love to see you all there. Thanks again, and I will see you next time around.